I think one of the major inspirations is when I travel on the Nigerian roads and see the high and see car crashes and you observe the high mortality rates in those crashes. The safety level of, of travelers, of, of commuters in the car is very, very low. At, at, sing, at a single crash, you find out that almost everybody in the vehicle is dead. Um, so that inspired us to see that we designed something that even at those kind of crashes, your safety is highly guaranteed. So um, that's pushed us to the drawing board now to start thinking of what materials were those vehicles made of what other materials can we make vehicles of to increase the safety of people in those cars and um, that pushed us to come up with designs and today we have Stano. I think another factor is the fact that we realized during our research that um, a lot of these raw materials are found in Nigeria. A lot of the materials are available in Africa and um, we just realized that there are no factories that produce this. We export our values and then import those finished goods. So um, the, the question just keeps striking in our minds, why can't we refine these raw materials here and produce values for ourselves? Um, on the car, you have metallic parts, which we have tin, iron ore around. Um, we also have petroleum, which is being the fuel. And for this car, we have resins, from, uh, which is uh, from, from, from plastics. We all have them, we have rubber farms around. Um, we have fibers used in these vehicles too. Fibers are commonly uh, available around. So just seeing how we could harness those raw materials we have to finish products and in turn creating jobs.